Matthew Daniel Gordon singing Starboy by the Weekend. All right, Matthew. I'm trying to put you in the worst mood. I be one clear that your touch shoes are merely born to deserve you. Are all LMs tease you? Are none of these toys are nice to you? Are it sounds like a hmm. Sounds like you're resonating right around here. It's still not exactly nasal. Or maybe it's nasal, but that's just your natural placement. Um, this is it's interesting. Let's see what's going on. You probably have a good mix. You're bridging really well. You're bridging that Passaggio, man. Killing that. Good. You clean it with a basement on my baby. You took your money, need to hear it made. You took a money, I don't see the shade. Switch up my salad to get it laid. I switch up my girl, but the lady pain. Now keep in mind it's a recording, okay? So um, it's not live. So he's had a chance to sort of doctor it up, fix it, and you know do it again and again. But at the same time, a good performance is a good performance, and you can't take that away from anyone. Um, so that's excellent, Matthew. Let's hear what else is going on. And not only that. It's not just a good performance, but well executed. When when I say well executed, I mean he sort of knows his voice. I mean, the thing about the studio is that even though you can do multiple takes, you can't fake it. You know what I mean? If something sounds bad, it's going to sound bad. If something sounds good, it's going to sound good. Um, it also seems like there is, I mean, if there is auto-tune, I don't think there is a whole lot. If there is, I, I doubt it. Oh, every day somebody try to test me, uh, every day somebody try to end me, uh, pull up in the road to rest me, uh, look it's overweight, getting empty, uh, coming for the king. It sounds very natural. That's a far cry, I, I come alive in the fall time, I, no competition, I don't really listen, I'm in the blue moon song, but make no edition, how so empty need a centerpiece, 20 racks a table, cup of another... And it's so crazy, when you're saying so many words up there, like, the, each phrase has five, six, seven words. And you have to sustain a note while singing multiple words in an upper register. I don't know what the words are. It's like, you have to keep your placement at, consistent in one place and say all of these words at the same time. And you're nailing that. And that that's sort of the style that's so consistent, like in this industry, in modern industry, people like a lot of R and B songs, a lot of pop songs, very often it'll be on like one note and you're saying a bunch of different words singing one note and you sort of maintain the same placement. You have to really support the sound singing this one note that's just around your passaggio. No, 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 no. You have to sing the one. No, 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 no. Whatever you're doing, we we do this one note thing a lot in modern R and B and um, pop. Um, so it's a skill that you seem to have mastered, or you're definitely doing really well with. Um, so that's good. Okay. Uh, that sounded a bit belty. That. No, well, that's my belt is a little intense, but I hear what you're going on with. That's good. All right. Um. 
Um, I'm going to leave this link in the description for those of you who are interested in hearing the rest. Well done, Matthew, Daniel, Gordon. Really, really good job here. Really good job. Keep doing covers. You seem to be on your way. Good. Awesome. Till next time. Tune in mind. Thanks for listening, everyone. Uh, share, subscribe, like. Subscribe, especially. All right, thank you.